No, I'll make a statement. I'll make a statement that I'm very, very proud of this basketball team right now. Um, not to make excuses, but obviously we're pretty short-handed. You know, they proved that the last time we played them, they couldn't guard Kayla Drake. You know, and with her out, that hurts us. Um, Chelsea's trying to play on one foot. God bless her. If you would have told me she was going to play 31 minutes tonight, after the way she looked at practice and shoot around today, I would have said no way. And she gutted it out and gave everything she could give. Um, this one next to me had to play the whole game. You know, she plays 20, 39 minutes, and they doubled, and they banged on her, and she kept going, and she kept going. And even when things weren't going our way, we battled and battled, and next thing you know, we've got a one-point lead with under two minutes to go. And Hyde takes the ball to the basket, and it's bang, bang. You never know which way that can go. You know, next time down, Bozy takes the ball to the basket, and it's bang, bang. You never know which way that can go. Unfortunately, it didn't go our way, um, and we lose a, a close basketball game at home. Steph, I'll let ask you, and then if you want to take off or whatever, but how uh, we've got a team that's big. I mean, what, what kind of problems does their, do their size present? I mean, they're just real physical. They've always been that way. South has always been big, and they've always been physical ever since I've been here. So, I mean, to us, I mean, we got two post players, but I feel like my teammates do a good job handling that. You know, whether they're big or not, we still came out and played, and we were physical right back. We didn't back down. So You didn't back down, but... But, but does that make things a little more difficult when there is a team that size? I mean, of course. Any team that's bigger than you is going to present some type of problems. It's whether you back down or not. What's, uh, I didn't want to bring in Jordan or Chelsea or anybody, but how are they doing in there? I mean, it's senior night. You know, it, it would be great to have a win on senior night and, you know, every, have everybody riled up. But, I mean, they're looking at the conference. I know they te they thinking more about about the team, not just themselves. Even mm -hmm. though they are seniors, you know that's just the kind of character they have. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I know they're pretty, you know, down at you know we did lose, but they're mm -hmm. they're looking forward here. They're not just looking at today mm -hmm. and it being senior night because honestly, I think everybody played hard. Like Coach said, I think like we all we all laid it on the line. We mm -hmm. gave it all we had. You know, right now we're all drained. You know, mm -hmm. from this game. So, I mean, they're, they're probably down a little bit, but mm -hmm. hey, you know, we'll see them again in the tournament. Yeah. Their physical nature, did that really play a part in that first half? Because it seemed like the refs kind of let things go a little bit mm -hmm. more in the first half than they did the second. Did that, did that play a I mean, role? Because you guys scored 16 points. I mean, yeah, but I mean, if you look at our shooting percentage in the first half, we got shots off, we got good looks, we just mm -hmm. wasn't, weren't hitting. So. It looked like a couple of those shots, though. There, there was some, some body contact that, Yeah. You know. I mean, it go both ways. It was probably some shots on their end that they, they, that they didn't call, but. Okay. Do you want, I, I'm good. Okay. Thank you. I just got a qu couple questions go for Coach. All right. A question for Coach. You can go ahead and ask. Thanks. Thanks. I Thanks. appreciate it. Coach, so uh, a game that close, you know, can you just talk a little bit about the uh, emotions on the sidelines? It was just like up and down. You guys were ahead for a while, and just talk a little bit about what that's like on the sidelines. Well, unfortunately, we've been in this position a few times. You know, we have eight losses this year, and four of them are now three points or less. Three, three, two, and one. Um, so we've been in this position. Um, I was just awfully, awfully proud of the fact that things didn't go our way. And they just continued to battle and continued to battle. And to put ourselves in position to win that game late um, just says volumes about how far this program's come. Um, they were jacked up because they beat us. You know, they definitely let us know that they were fired up, that they beat us. And, you know, I said something to you earlier, Steve, but I'm going to say it again. When a team gets that excited because they just beat you, 
that means you have their attention. And that means that um, they respect you and they're coming after you. And a few years ago, that was not the case. They'd walk on this floor and they believed they were going to beat us and they would beat us. Tonight, they had to give everything they had and they're awfully excited about being able to beat us on our floor. Um, I want to play them again. I don't know if they want to play us again, but I do. Um, because I want to prove that um, I know it's going to be hard, it's difficult to say when you've got four losses, but I do believe top to bottom we're the best basketball team in this conference. I just truly believe that. And um, we'll take this for what it is. It's a loss. We still have a two-game lead on South. We're still in second place. We still control our own destiny. We go on this road trip. We win one of two. We play on Saturday afternoon. And I just told them in there we take care of business on Saturday, and we get to watch South play on Sunday. And if South wins, then they got to play Monday. And if South wins, then they got to play Tuesday. And we know what it's like to have to play three games in a row. So um, bottom line is that South team's still chasing us.